First of all, thank you for watching my videos, all the likes, subscribing and the kind comments. Positivity and support always help, even from people we have never met in person. Although I have answered many questions, one kept returning, which is what medications and supplements I took to get my cancer in remission. As my followers know, this is my fourth cancer and I have declined all standard of care and that complicates things. To answer that question, we must examine the applicable guidelines on YouTube and their so-called medical misinformation policy. Quote, YouTube doesn't allow content that poses a serious risk or harm by spreading medical misinformation that contradicts local health authorities or the world health organization's guidance about specific health conditions and substances. This policy includes the following categories, prevention misinformation, treatment misinformation, denial misinformation, end of quote. This policy is quite exhaustive and I will not cite all of it, but here are some relevant examples. Content that discourages people from seeking approved treatments for cancer. Claims that alternative treatments are safer or more effective than approved treatments for cancer. Content that claims that juicing has better results than chemo in treating cancer. Content that recommends alternative treatments in place of approved treatments for cancer. Content that promotes diet and exercise instead of seeking approved treatment for cancer. Violating these guidelines in videos and comments will lead to a warning, suspension, demonetization, shadow banning and eventually cancellation of the channel. There is no point in going against these rules. You could save yourself the trouble and delete your own channel straight away. That is why I have been meticulous in my wording and the comments. Nevertheless, I still got several suspensions and many of my answers in the comments do not even appear. Guidelines are one thing, but the interpretation of the guidelines by the algorithm is something else. If, hypothetically, one were to talk about the importance of diet and exercise in relation to cancer, the bot might conclude that you promote diet and exercise instead of seeking approved treatment and consequently violate a community guideline. There is a fine line between talking about something and being perceived as promoting it. And that is the worrying part. They do the interpretation. It further says, we may terminate your channel or account for repeated violations of the community guidelines or terms of service. We may also terminate your channel or account after one single case of severe abuse. We have seen this happen to doctors and specialists in real life during the recent pandemic. World famous scientists, virologists and even Nobel Prize winners have been banned for speaking out against the mainstream narrative. There is no point rowing upstream, you'll be banned flat out. Nevertheless, with the above in mind, I will start disclosing my stack of supplements soon, without violating YouTube's community guidelines. The information will be presented in an alternative way and it will be up to the viewers to connect the dots. The comment section is also strictly monitored and heavily censored, so please tread cautiously when you comment. So will I. That is why I may not answer certain questions or why some of your comments do not appear. In case a channel were to vanish overnight anyway, I have mirrored it to two other platforms with the exact name username. Use your imagination if I disappear, you'll find me. Disclaimer. I want to repeat that I am not a doctor, I am a patient. All my content is merely a testimonial of what I did and what happened to me. It is in no way medical advice. It does in no way promote or discourage any therapy, diet or lifestyle. I do not advise nor recommend to anyone what to do or not to do. I have my path, you have yours. Be well.